Hey guys, it's Shadow Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys some of the new vehicles for Halo 1 on MCC. So, with the most recent Halo MCC update, the official Halo 1 modules for MCC, not the custom edition version, the MCC version, uh, got a lot of new dig site vehicles added to it in a special little dig site folder that's separate from the rest of the game files. Uh, so within that vehicles folder are several new vehicles for Halo 1 that were basically cut content from the early stages of Halo CE's development and from some like the macro demo or like other old versions of CE out there. Uh, so they, they've now been added to the tags folder of the modules and let's take a look at what the vehicles are. Also if you're wondering, uh, they don't work in anniversary graphics as you saw there. Only classic graphics. Alright, so let's get right into it. The first one is called the Doozy. And this one is a very interesting vehicle in that it's meant to be a watercraft. So I spawned it on land here. So it goes very slowly on land. And it's only really moving because I'm on like an incline here. If I was on like a completely flat like part of the land, it just wouldn't move at all. So in order to really use this vehicle like properly, and like reasonably, I have to launch it into the water and like into like a much deeper part of the water so that's not like dragging along the ground. But now that it's in the water, well first of all the passenger seat is facing the back and it actually works too. So a really nifty thing there. But now let's actually drive uh, the doozy. So now that we're on water, it, see it actually, it actually moves. Uh, it's not the fastest vehicle, but it does move compared to when it's on land. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, basically how it works. It's uh, pretty much a transport vehicle. There's no weapons on it or anything. Uh, next up is the Kestrel. This is a very cool vehicle, and I think the only other time it's officially showed up in a Halo game is probably in Halo Spartan Strike, the mobile game, <laughs> the most, the last like Halo mobile game ever released. And it kind of reminds me of the Wasp in like the since Halo Five. Uh, but it's a lot different than that. But it does have machine guns and it does have rockets. So I, I guess effectively it kind of does. It kind of is like a wasp in a lot of ways. But this is different. It is the Kestrel and it is not a wasp. Next up we have the Leech. Uh, this The name actually at first made me think of the, the Lich from Halo 4. But this is also quite different. Uh, this is the Covenant boarding craft that... Um, I'm pretty sure this is the Covenant boarding craft that you see on... Uh, pillar of autumn when they're boarding the ship uh, but it is um, a flyable vehicle here now and it is basically like a transport craft and once you take off and fly a little bit the um, first of all like the controls are kind of weird for it <laughs> it's, uh, it's a little hard to handle and I'm kind of like I'm not intentionally like trying to drag it on the ground here but that's what's happening but now that I've flown it for a little bit if I get out the um, at the front of it the door opens and actually I can actually go in. And you can see this is that room, the interior of the Covenant boarding craft that we see during the Pillar Bottom uh, mission. So that's a, uh, now it's an actual vehicle here. Next up we have a Pelican and more specifically uh, in a tag it's called like an E3 2000 Pelican. And it looks like a regular Pelican, uh, except it's uh, not only is it drivable, but it has a turret on the front, a chin gun, so to speak. Kind of like the Halo Reach Pelicans. Actually, really exactly like the Halo Reach Pelicans. And you can fly it around, you can shoot the machine gun turret on the front. Uh, and yeah, that's uh, basically the biggest difference between this Pelican and the uh, the normal Pelicans that we see in the actual uh, campaign that was uh, released in the full version of uh, Halo 1. Uh, we can also get into the back though. The, the back is fully rideable for passengers. Uh, but I'm pretty sure the regular pelican could do that too. So the biggest main difference for this is definitely the turret at the at the front bottom of it, just like the Halo Reach pelicans. Next up, we have a concept that wasn't really made official again until Halo 3, and that is the transport warthog. Halo 3 has a troop transport warthog that's mainly only used in a campaign, and I think it's available like MCC Forge now, but it wasn't always. But yeah, I mean Halo 1. Apparently was supposed to have one at one point as well, and now it's here thanks to the big site team. And it's a it's a pretty cool version of the transport warthog. I I kind of like it better than the Halo 3 version actually. I, I, I don't know, but yeah, this is a uh, version of it, and 
it was cut from the final game and wasn't included in the game files anywhere until now. And it really never came back into Halo until, well, Halo 3. So, yeah, next up we have the Rocket Warthog. Now, you may be thinking, we already have a Rocket Warthog in Halo 1 thanks to Halo PC and now MCC. But this is a different Rocket Warthog from the final version. In fact, the Rocket Turret that you see here, it looks a lot more like a Gauss Turret from like Halo 2 and 3. And while it does shoot rockets, functionally, it kind of is a lot more like a Gauss uh, Turret from the Gauss Hogs in Halo 2 and 3. Like, it, it shoots a single rocket out and you can like shoot it like relatively rapidly and the rocket flies pretty fast too. And it does have quite the impact as well. But it, it is still a rocket though, so it's not actually a Gauss Turret. But it is very reminiscent of one, and I'm sure the Halo 2 and Halo 3 Gauss Warthogs are kind of probably based on that concept. Next up we have the Chain Gun Warthog, and you know, you're just like with the Rocket Warthog, we already have a Chain Gun Warthog, which is pretty much the standard one, but this is a more of a earlier version as well of the Chain Gun, and there's some uh, interesting things on this turret as well, as you can see there. Uh, I don't know if that was originally on there or if that was added by the dig site team, but uh, yeah, it's there. The uh, interior is also a bit different than regular Warthogs as well. This, it actually has like a bunch of screens that are moving in here. Uh, but yeah, aside from that, the chain gun turret itself uh, it might have a faster rate of fire than the regular turret. I'm not entirely sure, but it works. Uh, so next vehicle is the Shadow. This may not only sound familiar to you, but it probably looks very familiar to you. And that's because the Shadow was a vehicle in Halo 2. It was a Covenant transport vehicle that was only ever seen on one mission, the mission Metropolis. And it was uh, never used again anywhere else in the campaign. And there were quite a few interesting things to the Shadow in Halo 2, in fact. But now, in Halo 1, apparently there was supposed to be a Shadow as well, but it was cut from the final game, like probably pretty early on. But it, uh, it does look and function very, very similarly to the uh, the Halo 2 version that was later added. So, again, like a lot of these vehicles, they were cut early in Halo 1's development, but the concepts were never forgotten and were used again later in, in Halo 2 and 3. Also, you can actually like pop pretty like um, huge wheelies with the uh, the shadow, as you just saw there. You just gotta press the space bar and you just like go pretty pretty high up. Uh, next up, we have the stealth tank. In fact, we have two versions of it, but the first version is just the standard version. And the stealth tank, this is actually a really cool tank. Uh, it it moves around pretty well, but its main cannon is, uh, it's pretty cool. So, uh, first of all, like, if you fire it too close to you, the, the shots can actually ricochet, kind of like uh, the sniper rifle. But when it does actually explode and impact on something, the effect is really cool. Like, I, I like that effect. The other version of the stealth tank, it's called the, it's the MP version, the multiplayer version. Uh, I don't really know like what's different about the multiplayer version. It, it feels and plays the same. I mean, the weapon functions the same too. But I'm sure there's maybe like some slight differences here or there to make it more suitable for a multiplayer. Uh, but visually, they are pretty much the same. And then next up is the Spectre. The Spectre, again, another cut early Halo 1 vehicle that was, I think it was in the, one of the early Halo 1 demos, or like, um, like not the actual release demos, but like, like the E3 demos or macro demos, maybe. Also, this, uh, the shadow can be blown up, but other vehicles can't. I actually did not realize that until uh, I tried the turret on the Spectre. But, yeah, once again, the Spectre's another early cut vehicle that didn't come back until Halo 2 and 3. So... Now, now, like seeing all these, it, it really has become clear that Halo 2 and Halo 3, and probably like other Halo games too, like a lot of their features were originally cut concepts from Halo 1 that I guess Bungie cut due to time or resources, and those concepts weren't fully realized until, uh, you know, much later Halo games. So it's uh, pretty interesting there. Uh, and the Spectre here is also capable of carrying quite a few people. And you could also do. Uh, pretty big wheelies with it as well, just like the, uh, the Shadow. And of course, there's also a uh, multiplayer version of the Spectre as well, which again, I'm not sure what the difference is here, uh, but I'm sure there's some like small differences, but visually, they're both pretty much the same. Uh, so yeah, there you guys have it. These are all the new 
dick site vehicles that were added to the game files and tags of the Halo 1 mod tools uh, with the recent MCC update. So you can check them out right now if you have the mod tools or there's a bunch of uh, dig site maps that were released on the Steam Workshop with all these vehicles already included on them. So you could uh, play around with them and test them out. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and found it to be interesting. And if you did, then as always, make sure to leave a like. I'll leave thoughts in comments. Any thoughts you may check out looking to, just let me know in the comments down below. But aside from that, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.